Little snowman, little snowman, please don't melt. Ooh. Are you tired of looking for that perfect preschooler piano method for your little three, four-year-old piano player? Well, look no further. Tiny Tinkle's Little Musician Series is here. So today, I'm giving you a quick little tour. The first book in the Little Performer series is all about patterning. We start off with an amazing little story because that's what we do in Tiny Tinkle's Little Musicians books. We always start off with a story. We're gonna find the groups of two and three black notes. We're gonna find our fingers, Parker Penguin and Missy Mouse. And we're gonna play the groups of two with our left hand, and with our right hand. There's illustrations. This book can actually go in the car with you. You don't need a piano to play. So if you are teaching a class of little musicians, all you need is a book for everyone. And then they can actually play the notes on the pages and not even need a piano to practice all the time. Of course, they're gonna need a piano to practice on. <laughs> And then we go in and we introduce a new finger friend, Rosie Rabbit finger number four. We're playing low, we're playing high. We're playing all over the piano. We have all kinds of little cutout cards. You can cut the whole page out, laminate it, then cut it into individual cards, and you can put these little patterns on the music stand of your piano. Now, instead of your little musician having a traditional book where it has music up at the top of the page and, you know, they're little, so they're looking up like this. They're looking to see all the notes, but do you think they have any peripheral vision? Can they actually sense that their fingers are below them playing? No, they can't, they're small. <laughs> that is why in the Tiny Tinkles Little Musicians books, music, the music that we play, Little songs, patterning games, printable keyboards. You can laminate them for your students and cut them out. These songs are all on the bottom of the page, not the top, because your little student is going to follow along at the bottom. We have many different songs in here with just the right hand, just the left hand, and then some hands together. Everything is illustrated very clearly and a storybook in a storybook fashion. So we can enjoy playing over and over again with these books. And we get to the end. And of course, we have a wonderful certificate. That's level one. Or shall we say book one, level one, same thing, patterns. Book number two moves away from patterns and now we're actually learning songs. How exciting. But book number two is all about the two black keys. So this is setting your little musician up for success. We start with a story. <laughs> you got it. And whoosh, before you know it, we're playing the two black keys. We're finding all of our finger friends. We're playing in many different styles, soft and sweet, happy and loud, short, fast and slow. <laughs> Silly songs like cartwheels. Imagine, what happens at the end of the cartwheel? Oh no, did you bump your head? <laughs> Make it fun. Make it engaging with your little ones. Let's fly a kite. Oh yeah, I like that one. Oh no, Brownie Bear lost his kite. Oh. <laughs> The secret to teaching preschoolers is to make sure that they're having fun. And that's what these books do. They create all kinds of engaging moments, fun stories, and silly times for you guys to laugh together. There's little reps in here. Pokey Porcupine, five, five, five. Rosie Rabbit, four, four, four. Missy Mouse, three, three, three. Kids love the characters and they love 
that they can easily follow along. Every kid wants to succeed. Did you see this part up here? This is where you get to color all the stars. If you have stickers you want to place on there, that's totally fine too. But you can color each star every time you practice. So you can see how much kids are gonna wanna practice these songs because there's all of these spaces to show how hard that they've been working. Happy birthday, hip hop kangaroo. Oh, look it, see now we're teaching some finger independence. So when you see the number two, you're gonna play two. Two, 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 three, 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 together hold, together hold, two, 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 repeat, two, 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 three, 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 two, hold, two, hold, two, 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 whoosh, <laughs> and place your hands in your lap. Oh yes, you got the idea, of course. There is an amazing certificate at the end of book two. And when we get over to book three, <laughs> guess what this one's all about? <gasps> Songs on three black keys. Three black keys. This is why, why this is the perfect book for preschoolers because repetition is key for this age. They need to really, really have lots of activities that are similar to give them lots of practice in the concepts so everything is just natural. They're always getting the answers right because they can anticipate what questions are coming up. Oh, Daisy Dog is sleepy. Oh, we better play piano soft. So you can see these books, because of the illustrations and the titles, it really tells your little musician what this song is going to be like and how they should imagine playing it. So again, this book is all the three black keys. We've got Independent Fingers. Oh, it's Snowman song. Little snowman, little snowman, please don't melt. Ooh. <laughs> melt at the end. <laughs> Can you imagine how much fun your little one is gonna have with these silly songs? Oh, the big, 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 big black spider. <laughs> oh, this is so funny, you guys. I totally missed this. This song is called The Big Red Spider, but oh. <laughs> in the song, I called it a black spider. <laughs> Well, I guess you could go ahead and color the spider black. That's so funny, I never noticed it. I meant to get a black spider illustrated, but the red looks so much better. <laughs> I forgot to change the words. Sometimes typos like that are missed. So anyhow, we'll wait till the next round of printing and I will try and fix that one up. But anyhow, big black spider, big black spider, spooky, spooky, boo! <laughs> you got the idea. I know you're going to have so much fun. Dinosaur stomping. We get to play Forte. Oh, Pokey Porky Fine loves to tour on a pony ride. Well, of course, we have to incorporate both time signatures that are in 4-4 four, four, and 3-4 so we can really feel the difference in the rhythm. Always talk about the rhythm before you start say the words out loud and clap and tap with each song and you're gonna get the best success rate. Oh, there goes Ellie Elephant. Pitter patter, pitter patter, rain. Oh, staccato notes for pitter patter. And of course, when we finally get to the end, keep going, oh! <laughs> oh yeah, I love the rooster one. We gotta have a cockadoodle at the end of a rooster song. And of course, your certificate. Okay, that was your 10 minute tour. And I really didn't mean for it to take that long. I thought this was gonna be a quick video, but these books are so amazing. Little, um, little Performers book one, book two, and book three, the ultimate path to success for preschool piano learning for as young as age three. Take a look at it, check it out on Amazon. There's some inside pictures and of course our Facebook page and yeah, all that good stuff. Take care, happy teaching.